Boy oh boy, let's do this post workout. An absolute beep upon V on a daily. First thing first, the name is the LUI. Secondly, the game. It is the game of bodybuilding at the very highest level. Tell you that much. Thirdly, though, 30 bow. Let's go ahead and rediscover the pictures this time around in HD. Salute to muscular development. Followed by Matthias Busset. Sounds very German. So this time around, HD pics, they surfaced. Let's go ahead and re basically revisit that mighty uh, eventful collision between Big Ramy and Dexter Jackson. So now, on record, I said that Big Ramy has been robbed, and I still believe that to a largest extent, even more. This guy brought it uh, last week, and again, you know, uh, again, let me remind you, Big Ramy. I didn't talk about him that much in his prep for Mr. Olympia because I knew for a fact he was coming like small, right? And then when I saw him in the pre-judging, I was like, bro, what the hell have you done? Is it even you? I was I was calling him medium Rami, out of respect, because he was like small Rami, right? And then in a week, I spoke to him, so it was like six or seven days ago now, uh, for about 45 minutes to an hour, and I told him, bro, repeatedly, bro, go back to your game, go back to yourself. I mean, you cannot play the small game, it's not you. It doesn't suit your frame, it's not your very nature. Go back, if it's not broken, don't fix it. So then go back to Prague, Prague last year, where, where he won actually versus uh, Sean Roden. He played second to the same guy, to Dexter Jackson. In my opinion, it was, it was his best shape ever back then. But he bested that uh, this weekend. He told me uh, in his accent, because he speaks in Arabic, he told me, Brag. I said, yes, Brag, bro, Brag, Prag, bring, bring it. And, and uh, he battered that, uh, decisively so. Uh, to remind you, so supposedly what happened, he won everything. I mean, post for post, it was not even funny. He smoked Dex in my book and in a book of a lot of you guys, fans and also specialists. I mean, a lot of people spoke about this. I mean, Jerry Ward, even Boston Lloyd actually spoke about it. I mean, uh, if you follow bodybuilding, it was no contest. But supposedly he lost because of the, the posing round or like the artistic kind of part of it because all of right now insists on the artistic side of bodybuilding. To that, you know what? I absolutely agree that uh, Dexter is the best poser. I mean, better poser than a lot of guys. Dude is doing battle on stage like 17 years, for God's sake. So how can he lose, right? Uh, so yeah, but is it important in my book? No, because at the end of the day, bodybuilding is about uh, is about physicality, bro. Bring what you got and, and size counts. And this guy was smoked uh, two days ago. And for the record, they will collide again a few days from now, so less than a week, in Kuwait. That will be the Arnold Kuwait in sense. And we'll see what happened. And if I'm not mistaken, there is no artistic posing round there. So it will be pretty much raw bodybuilding. Pose for both. Bring what you get. Talking about the poses, haha, baby, please, let's go through these mandatories, right? First in line, Dexter Jack. Now, Dexter is good. I mean, this guy is one of the best ever in the world. Um, um, he is right, right now the re record holder, actually, of the most wins in pro shows. Uh, bettered, actually, Lee Haney, I think. He has beaten that guy, even Kevin Lavroni, and so on and so forth. Uh, the guy is uh, its not really a pit bull. I said it's pit bull back in the day. No, I think he is like more of a Doberman, in a sense. Uh, efficient. Uh, not the biggest, right? That's why he's, he's a... Doberman concentrated power right there. Very solid, hard to beat. I, I'll still ding him in this competition specifically for his gut. He was not loyal at all, but he was himself. Always sharp, always the blade. But the size game, bro, symmetry, everything, especially the size. I mean, Rami is just a whole new level and you cannot ding this most muscular pose. He does that one in several fashions, crab, this, I mean, it's not everybody who can do this pose, by, by the way, guys. I mean, trust me, uh, for for example, Dorian, rarely, actually on Mr. Olympia, I think he never done this pose right here, right? It did not suit him well. I think there is only one picture when he was an amateur, he was a youngster doing this pose, and even back then, it need, you need to be very balanced uh, to allow yourself to be versatile in the most muscular pose. There's a lot of fashion to do it. Phil Heath is very good. He, he, he trades a lot of fashions of doing it, but it's not everybody who can do that. Big Ramy is versatile in it. Symmetry 101 is just perfect. I mean, look at him. It's not, I mean, nonsensical. He brought it 
he surprised me every picture is just marvelous and he has done that in only one freaking week go figure that out uh again this is the um uh, well absentize i was about to say absentize but there is no abs right i mean do you see the abs of uh, mr dexter jackson i don't see them they're not there he messed up he had a serious bubble 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 trouble got bonanza since mr olympia i think that's why they gave him uh, a lower standing lower placing than sean roden both had bubble gut bonanza but his was a little bit worse right now you can see it's smooth you cannot see the abs they're not merely flabs and the quads i mean do you see the definition i don't see it i mean it's called abs and thighs i'm not impressed the legs are still good i mean they're still round at his age 47 that's marvelous but i've seen him better right uh the the, the egyptian pharaoh uh genetic freak phenom right there look at that man damn i mean go back in history i mean let me think a bit on post workout who do you compare this uh, abs and thighs to really no i mean the tree trunks down there lower section resembles in some cues that of ronnie coleman we can agree because they're just large they're outrageous but the midsection of big ron uh, big ronnie was not good yet like a merely a four pack so i don't know it's a hybrid of of uh, several guys nonetheless I mean, no picture. Come on now. How can you place this guy in this mandatory versus this guy? All kinds of completeness in these weeds. Abs and thighs, for God's sake. This is outrageous. Do not call it abs and thighs. Call it abs and sequoia trees, for God's sake. Uh, abs and the baobab tree of Africa, that large. Look at the, 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 the muscular development. This is bodybuilding, guys. We're not talking about physique, guys. This is all out bodybuilding, right? We wanted the 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 artistic side of it they created the classic physique let's upload properly executed but bodybuilding is still about bring what you got man bring what you got that's what's up it's all about raw muscularity when, when i spoke to phil heath about two weeks ago when was it after i don't know but it wasn't the, it was like lately uh, in the, the period of, of, of mr olympia we were talking actually about the about the physique and classic physique guys he was telling me bro these guys don't even have to flirt with the things we do. These guys, it's 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 simple. It's easy walk for them. It's a walk in the park. And he's, he's right. I mean, this is a different level of muscular development. I mean, the classic physique guys and the physique guys don't even do what, what, what these guys have to go through to sustain this kind of muscular uh, development. Two different ball games. So, raw bodybuilding, it needs to respect the muscular development. It is the outer edge it is the very limit the very frontier of human muscular development that's exactly what, what i told to phil heat i told him bro how do you feel being the leader like number one in the world leading more than seven billion people and being at the very edge of the muscular development at our era it must be special right that's it so we uh, the muscular development needs to be judged properly i mean the art is is okay the pose and this and that it's all funny but at the end of the day pose for pose i mean that dexter was literally smoked it's not even funny i mean even me i was not expecting big Ramy to come this good quite frankly quite frankly i had no clue he could do this in freaking one week how he did it i didn't speak to him since mr olympia but uh, i don't know it, it, I, I don't even know what was the weight here i, I don't know I, i'm gonna have to ask him but he just uh, brought it front lat spread front lat spread we cannot again dismiss the lower section can you can you dismiss it okay don't uh, don't look at the midsection uh, actually at the lower section because it sucks no details whatsoever no details whatsoever front lat spread. okay he spreads them good the arms are perfect chest is there but look at the void i mean lat spread lat spread which was the best one ever that we all talk about that of dorian yates and that of Aroni Coleman. But look at uh, this uh, big Rami here. I think he took it to a new level. Look at the. You don't even see a void here. <laughs> it is aerodynamic, for God's sake. Do you even Boeing 747? And again, look at the lower section. So, two different realms. Not only he smokes him in the muscular development, dude has like tens and tens and tens and tens of raw muscle over him. I outmuscle you. I bully you but my efficiency is absolutely more loyal bro how can this be this i mean next to each other not in this world not in the 90s not ever not ever this was just a gift to a guy not even called the gift 
call the blade. I mean, look, be my guest. Smoking happened not even slightly, not even daily. Everything is just properly executed from head to toe. Ah, oh, I mean, you messed up again, IFBB. You just messed up. Really, you messed up. I, I have to call you out. I'm sorry. And I'm not even a, a fanboy. This guy, I was dinging him merely a week ago in Mr. Olympia. I was calling him medium Rami. You messed up, this and that. But when he's right, right, when he brought it, he brought it. The, the whole world saw that. Next mandatory pose. Front double buy. Again, I cannot dismiss the lower section. Thank you, Mr. Matthias Busse, for bringing HD pictures. This is an HD still pick. I'm sorry, these legs are smooth as a soap bar smooth as a soap bar right mid section on main press okay artistic looks good but let's compare okay look at that again you cannot dismiss the mid uh, the, the lower section bigger more defined more aesthetic more uh, more balanced right and at the top big rammy the waist to upper body ratio is two different realm because you know it's, it's it's a complicated pose i mean it's not double bicep you don't you don't flex flex only the bicep the whole body is flexed and at that level these guys they're not natty like you and me they they, they, they bring the lats out even the chest can be contract everything at the butt everything is contracted from head to toe and in that field two different realm you just spread it you just get it it's like a, it's like Big Rami versus Natty Rami. That's it. That, that, that's what happened. I give him every pose so far. Every mandatory goes to Big Rami by a landslide. By a freaking landslide. And be my guest, debate with me on it. Back uh, double buy. Yes, good. Perfect. It's, it's, it's by the book. It's the blade, the one we know. Uh, not as conditioned as Phil Heat. But he's up there. This is the cream of the crop. Only usually compared to Sean Roden when it comes to the uh, lower section. You know, very uh, equilibrated, balanced. I think he's less conditioned than his sharpest, uh, sharpest shape he brought back in the day. But it's still good. It's still good. But let's compare apple to apple. Tell me that this pose beats this. And if so, how? If so, how? If so, how? Okay, if, 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 if the mass does not have its importance in bodybuilding, let's go back and do uh, physique now. Let's be all natties. I'm sorry. Bodybuilding is the very edge of muscular development. It has its side. This guy is the biggest mofo we've ever seen, and he brought symmetry this time around. And I'm starting to see glimpses of muscle maturity because he is not out of the oven as of yet. He made leaps and bounds compared to last year. Last year, actually not last year, never have we seen Big Rami with some details in the glutes and the hamstring, and even those scalps are coming in. And that back, be my guest, I mean, go ahead. You know what? Let's give it to Dexter. Let's just give it to Dexter. I don't give it to Dexter in reality, but let's give it to Dexter to move on and see how mandatories he will get. Side chest, very good. Side chest is very, very good truth needs to be told uh by the book textbook i mean it's just perfect if phil he did not exist this would have been just top top of the line even better than that of sean Roden. but look at the the pharaoh guy what he brought i'm sorry i think he he killed dexter in this uh too bad he was not in this room here like this he would have been a solid second to 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 phil he solid second he would have even uh, challenged him in in several uh, mandatories that's for sure you know especially the the, the last spread from the front even the front double bicep and so on. and even this one I, I would have loved him to see him next to phil heath i get him killing murdering not even uh, slightly uh dexter jackson from head to toe another level of muscular development his face he looks happy he was not like all crispy all weird looking in mr olympia he was not happy he did not even know how to hold the pose he looked alien. He looked undernourished, not saluted. He ate this guy, and he ate very, uh, very well. Next, mandatories, uh, uh, baby, please. Okay, this is called the uh, side tricep, obviously. If you follow bodybuilding by the book, go back to the Lee Labrada days, even Sean Ray days, what is right is right. Sean Ray has it by the book, too. You need to flex your, your midsection. We're not flexing only the triceps. 
do you even boo bander do you even ruly winkler so everything needs to be showcased rather properly and clearly the lower section as well it's loyal you know the outer head of that quad is absolutely saluted the sweep of the hamstring is world class midsection though midsection though let me take my gsp sentence gsp i'm not impressed by your performance i'm not impressed by your performance not impressed by your performance bro absolutely not loyal this bubblegut bonanza is not flexed whatsoever let me compare you with uh, with the big guy there you go he did not flex it as well it's it, it's a big mistake from big ram because his midsection is loyal he forgot to do it but what i like about him is that he struggles to hold the pole which create this granity look in that um in that deltoid right there and this arm is just large the chest is huge independence day happens in the traps and in the legs they're the biggest ever the biggest probably ever there is a ridge in that outer head of the quad a lot of you told me we well, take a look at the outer head it's just marvelous we have a ridge here and there is another one being born here so next year it will be one year old right we'll have uh, the uh, the anniversary i think he smokes him legit that have no way for me to place dexter over uh, big Ramy on on this one it's just him bigger just him bigger and he holds actually uh, his waist a little bit better uh, the waist does not go over does not spill like an oil spill like it is right there okay back last spread good good not the best not phil heath that is not as quick uh, no, nowhere actually uh, as good as phil heath but since phil heath exists this is very, very good too. It's up there. It's 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 a top uh, top of the line, right? Let's compare it to the Egyptian guy, though. There you have it. How on earth will you place this one over this one? Is it a problem with symmetry? No. This guy has everything, but bigger. Everything is just larger, wider, more efficiency, more muscular development, and the I think the lower section is even crisper than that of. Uh, of Mr. Uh, Dexter Jackson. So that's it. I mean, pose for pose, the guy has no calves. How can't you ding him for that? The calves are not loyal, they're oil. This guy have calves, right? And look at the the, the width. I mean, we can't, we're talking about uh, Mr. Uh, I mean, uh, um, a discipline that is dominated by backs since 1983, Samir Banut, and then eight years of Lee Haney, and then another six years of Dorian Yates, we had Ronnie Coleman for eight years, Jay Cutler for a slew of them, and the current Mr. Olympia has a 3D back, so it's all about the back. It should have been lights out. Okay, this is not a mandatory, but uh, these guys can allow themselves to showcase some Christmas tree action, absolutely to be uh, saluted, but do you even mass? Look at the, the difference in, in the chunks. I mean, the, the, I mean, uh, these are tens and tens and tens and tens of pounds of, of difference. And again, in the lower section, with all the respect, I think Big Ramy was crisper. The lower section of Big Ramy is just crisper. I prefer the uh, hammies with the glute separation in this big Egyptian guy. So that is what, what's up. And when it comes to, to body parts, that, 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 that should be, you know, you cannot ding them. When you have something clearly more advanced than your opponent, like this guy has a tree trunk that is the, just the, the biggest ever, and he brought some striations, some feathers i mean the teardrop it's not a teardrop this is like a, a, i don't know like a t-rex a, a, a dinosaur uh, teardrop and the other head is just outrageous even crazier than that uh, of kai green right so you cannot ding this you cannot dismiss this being big with condition look at that oh, wow equilibrated balanced uh, developed uh, from up to down he just brought in he looked confident I did not salute him yet live, but I'm gonna tell him next time I talk to this guy, bro. You brought it. If you not, if it's not broken, don't fix it. And we'll see how it goes. Will he get even better in like three or four, or four days in Kuwait? We'll see what's up, man. There we go. Another fashion of doing a uh, most uh, muscular pose. He's no longer, you know, legs dominant. At like uh, he used to do this in his New York Pro debut. It looks a little bit awkward. The upper portion was a little bit dragging behind, but right now, just efficiency. Brachia Lee's baby please, like a bubble right there. He got it by the book. The chest, we dismissed to say it, but isn't it like the largest chest now? Who has larger chest right now 
than uh, than Big Ramy uh, in the circuit. Uh, who? I can go back to Juan Diesel Morel, but that's a different league. That's a tier three bodybuilder, not a tier top, right? That's what's up. Uh, again, another post. How did they dismiss? I mean, these legs compared to the legless, uh, basically uh, Dexter. How? I mean, and the midsection is loyal. I mean, that was clear robbery. Absolutely not saluted. The last guy that I liked doing this is Dorian Yates because he had crazy calves development. He loved uh, th this pose. So uh, this guy is emulating one of his idols, uh, Dorian Yates. And a dwarfin uh, did occur. Look at the tree trunk of this guy versus uh, no definition, no separation, not same league in that of, of, uh, of Dexter. I still agree that Dexter should have been second. He was not that bad. But Big Ramy should have taken uh, that knot hands down, hands down. When he, fle when he flexes these legs, in the case of um, Dexter, they're not there. The midsection is not loyal, calves not existing. The guy next to him is just bigger and better. That, that, that's the way it is. And dwarfing did occur in every post. Thank God. Thanks, uh, Matthias Bousset, for bringing this marvelous HD picture at last. Now you can see clearly that the lower section, which is quite important and sensitive in today's era bodybuilding, either thanks or because to Ronnie Coleman, because back in Dorian Yates, it was not that important, right? That the 90s said, bro, we were crisp, but the lower section was not as developed, as essential as it is in today's era, we gotta confess. In that department, it's all big Remy all day and every day. Go ahead, take your pre-workout, come back, look at it. It's not about the color, it's just, uh, proper not the lightning he just smokes him in that department and in the upper body again it's like dexter jackson versus dexter jackson on juice bro that's what's up a dwarfing did occur man for real i mean no void whatsoever saturates the damn pose genetically superior and muscular development just outstandingly superior it is what it is i don't know what these guys can justify that with it was just outrageous did not happen in mr olympia but the robbery happened a week later that's what's up uh, he was confident bubble gut of of mr dexon was absolutely not loyal turtle shell do you even ninja turtles for god's sake uh smooth legs non-existing calves but that's exactly uh, what happened uh wow wow i mean i think this picture was republished by his trainer uh chris Asito. he said bro uh, do a caption for this i mean caption it's just robbery, that's it, there's no caption. I mean, look at the legs of, of Dexter. No separation, no definition whatsoever, no details. Uh, the other guy is better than him everywhere, everywhere. I'm not even talking about the lats. I mean, the, the one lat of Big Ramy is bigger than both of, of Dexter Jackson. I'm sorry, but the, the size matters in bodybuilding. You're, we're talking about the most advanced muscular development in history. So of course, that metric is very, very important. If not, I'll, I'll go ahead, me, and basically shred and go do Mr. Olympia. I don't, I don't even lift. I have no muscle. Tell them, bro, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm shredded. That's it. And I have, like, symmetry. No. Muscular development, muscular, muscular mass does occur. Hell, we all talk about gains. Gain, it's all about gains. This guy outgains him seriously. Not even a different reel. There you go. Side by side. Same lightning. Same day. Not out angling. How on earth did that guy beat him? I have no clue, seriously. It was not even close. Uh, it was not even close. Uh, it was not even close. I mean, did they punish him because he messed up in Miss Olympia? I don't know, but telling me that uh, the posing is that important? Come on, the posing should not dismiss the fact that Big Ramy smoked Dexter pretty much in every pose. Pose for pose, it was not even funny. It was not even close. Again, that's the... Uh, no, it's actually, this is the picture that was published by his trainer, Chris uh asito said bro make a caption about this i replied to him bro i told him dexter versus dexter on gains so that's what's up all of all big grammy knew it that he was looking at him bro do you even lift i mean i got you political or not politics he cannot hold him no more i think this was like one of the last gifts being given to dexter jackson dexter and sean Roden were not even close to phil heath and mr olympia were not even close right and Phil Heath actually uh, sent me a message uh, exactly after the win of Dexter, so we spoke lengthily. I'm going to keep most of it secret, but he laughed a bit. 
he had some smiles and he is right now chilling in uh, in Spain right with his girlfriend and that's about it as per now factually in the absence of Kai Green because he's m most likely no longer will compete in Miss Olympia uh, which is the Super Bowl of, of, of bodybuilding so technically Big Ramy is legitimately a second the second bodybuilder in the world after Phil Heath the question is will he ever catch Phil Heath and if so when will he do it because he is progressing leaps and bounds I cannot even go into predictions game because he always tends to prove me wrong I mean since last week to today it's not new muscle he did not build muscle don't get me wrong but he just replenished everything he did a little metamorphosis baby please I mean quite frankly I make videos about this but I, w I did not even know it's not e even feasible in a week to do that transformation he battered his finals and by long slide he battered that mediocre shape of the prejudging that's what's up i salute you actually whatever you is and this happened on a daily basis tell me what time it is don't forget to like the video and tell me what you guys haha -ha, think about it properly executed video